guys, welcome back to my channel to a brand new video. In today's video, as the title would suggest, we have a home interior haul. So I've created a little list of the things that I've been buying over the last few weeks, possibly months, things that I absolutely love and I know that you guys are going to love them just as much as me. So everything I show in this video, I will link it if I can in the description box down below. So I'm just going to run through them with you and explain why I bought them, why I wanted them, why I like them, etc, etc. So go and get yourselves comfy and grab yourselves a nice hot drink. I'm on, what is this called? Gingerbread chai latte today i've popped an extra shot of coffee in there because girl needs it at the moment just really really busy at the moment and i feel like i'm just non-stop anyway let's give this a taste test woohoo that is so bloody good i am totally a chai latte girl now oh and also just quickly i had my hair cut this morning can you tell <laughs> I don't know if you can tell or not. I should not have said anything and then see if anybody could tell. So I've just had my layers uh, chopped. I've had all the dead ends chopped off and it just makes me feel and look, I think, in my opinion, so much younger. Anyway, I'm going to get on with this video and I'll talk to you about the hair in my next vlog. Okay, so we've got to be really careful with this, but we're starting off strong with this gorgeous mango wood cake stand. As you can see, it is giant and it's got this gorgeous glass domed top and it's absolutely giant and we've got to be really careful. I think someone was selling one of these bases on Vintage without the glass dome so I've, they've clearly smashed the dome <laughs> and I just thought, oh my god, that's so unfortunate. So this is the most recent purchase of mine and I'm absolutely in love with it. I've already showed it on a vlog and loads of you have gone mad for it. So if it's still available, I will link it in the description box down below if you want it. But basically it is a cake stand. However, you can use this for other things. And as I was saying in that vlog, this time of year something like this is absolutely spectacular because of all the cheese boards breakfast boards all the baking all the cakes etc etc there's so many things you can use this for even fruit and veggie platters because i like to have fruit and veg to snack on throughout the day it just helps me keep within my diet and things like that anyway that's a personal thing but you can put what you want in here it keeps it all fresh with the glass dome on the top and tell me that is not the most stunning stand you have ever seen in your life so this is going to live on my center island in the kitchen if i've not got time to put some cutaway clips in this video here go and follow me on instagram i'll leave my handle here and um yeah i'm gonna post a reel i think showing this cake stand and other things from this video so you might want to go and check that out so next up, I wanted to show you guys this, even though we're coming out of the autumn season and into the winter now, and focusing more on the Christmas decor, but I just feel like this didn't get its moment. So if you're following along on the blogs, you will know that I've been renovating the vintage, sorry, restoring the vintage front door in this period house that we're renovating. And it took quite some time because it's so delicate and intricate with all the detail and the glass etc anyway i had a plan for the blinds and to dress the door when we'd finished we got some blinds they didn't work out i'll go through that with you on the renovation blogs but this little wreath was to finish off that area and it just didn't work out it's a shame to put it up now because obviously we're coming into the winter and the Christmas season so my focus has shifted towards Christmas decor so there's no point putting it up just now but I am going to save it and it's going to come out next year. So this week is from The Range and it's the Dried Baby's Breath wreath. It looks like this, it's still got the tag on and it was £15. I think they still do it in store. From the last Shot With Me video, they still had this in. But I think you can use something like this all year round. It looks great in the summer. It also looks great through the autumn months as well. Obviously not Christmas because you change out to your Christmas decor. It's not very Christmassy. 
Unless you have a little faff around with you, I suppose you could. But yeah, the reason why I went for a plain baby's breath gypsophilia reef was because it's very important flower to me as it was heavily featured in my wedding. This was one of my flowers of choice, the baby's breath. I just think it's so delicate and beautiful and whimsical. And yeah, I just love it. And I love when it's dried out as well and it goes into this like gorgeous neutral shade. And I have it all the way around the house, to be honest with you. <laughs> okay, really random, but I was in the middle aisles and they are random. At Aldi. And I spotted these and I thought, I cannot leave you behind because you're not going to be there when I go back. Now, this was just a couple of weeks ago, you guys. But if you remember my Timu haul not long ago, I've been swapping out all of my kitchenware into like um, brass tones from silver to brass tones. And yeah, I picked up some measuring cups, some baking measuring cups, and they were like a set of four, and they had these gorgeous wood handles. You might remember it from my Timu haul. I'll link them down below as well. Anyway, I spotted these, and they're very similar, but they're three little sieves. And even though I don't really bake from scratch, we're going to start trying. And I just loved the big one, to be honest with you, because I'm trying my best to perfect the fluffy roast potatoes on a Sunday roast. The fluffier, the better. If you boil your potatoes and then chuck them around in one of these little sieves, it makes them really fluffy, clings onto the oil, and then you can double bake them and they become really crispy. So we're hoping to get really crispy roast potatoes from this. This were a couple of pounds, like I said, from Aldi Middle Isle. I don't know if they still got them and I don't know which Aldis they're in, if they're all over the country, I'm not sure. Okay, next up, these are actually a really good find and I just love them. So these are a vintage four books. So they're not real books, although they look like books. They all say William Shakespeare Hamlet. So unfortunately, they're all the same title of book, but I think they look gorgeous, especially in this house where we're introducing a lot of vintage items. And I just think it looks really, really good in this property. So I found these because I was looking for real ones in charity shops, but I wasn't finding any. And I was desperate to style up my bedside tables, if you remember, on one of the renovation blogs. So I picked up these books. They're a set of three and they're like a little Russian doll. And basically they're boxes. So they look like books. And I just love the gold page detail here at the side. They look good stacked up like that in a three. They also look good flat laid down like that as well. I've got two more of them. They're upstairs on my bedside table. And because they're boxes, I've been using them to put in my jewelry and little bits and bobs because obviously I've got no dressing room at the moment and nowhere to put my stuff. So yeah, they've come in really, really handy. So they're like secret boxes. Anyway, I can't remember how much these cost, but I'll leave them again linked down below like everything else. And they come in a set of three, all one inside of the other, like a little Russian doll. So you've got a large one, this one's the large one, and then a smaller one, and then an even smaller one. And they come in this gorgeous claret burgundy colour. We've got a gorgeous deep forest green colour and then a brown one as well. So they're like really aesthetic colours for the autumn winter. And they've got that real vintage vibe, which I absolutely love. Okay, next up is these gorgeous leather cushions. I picked up these from Amazon and they are real leather. They're really, really, really nice. I just love them in this gorgeous chocolate brown colour. They've got this stitching down the front. I don't know if you can see that, but I think it makes it look really, really expensive. And you might not know this, guys, but I love leather. I just love it. I just love leather. I think it's very rich and yeah i just love it so i picked up these for my bed to style my bed on obviously we're not going to be sleeping on these kind of pillows they're just decorative but these are the oh i can't remember the size of these ones but i'll link my actual size these ones down below they come in different sizes and they're really affordable they are just covers however so the inserts inside are from Dunelm I always get my feather inserts from Dunelm so yeah I've got two of these upstairs on the bed so next up I wanted to show you these eucalyptus stems these are four stems from the range I think the range do some really good four stems 
so do Dunelm, don't they? And I'm sure you'll find these in either store. I can't remember how much these were, but they were only a couple of pounds per stem. And I bought these quite a while ago and they've been styled up for the autumn on my center island with the pumpkins and I've just stuck them in the side. But I just wanted to show you them because I just love that rich burgundy colour at this time of year. I was actually looking for a garland for this mantle here in the lounge in the snug in this colour but I couldn't find one so if anyone sees a garland this colour please let me know where it's from and I'm gonna run out and get it. <laughs> but I just love things like this because I love faffing around with decor in the house you know what I'm like. <laughs> Okay, next up we have this little set from Massimo Dutti and this is a hand cream, rinse free hand gel, hand and body lotion and hand and body wash. It's men's and it's chamomile and sandalwood so it's very very like masculine scented. I just think the packaging is absolutely gorgeous. It's got this little um, ribbon at the top so that you can hold it like this. And then it's got a magnetic closure box. So you open it up and just look how gorgeous that packaging is. Packaging for me is absolutely crucial to my first impressions. I just love really nice packaging, I'm not gonna lie. Who doesn't? So I picked this up from TK Maxx and I think they have some really gorgeous gift sets especially this time of the year guys we need to go to home sense and tk maxx and do a shop with me don't we we need to do a couple actually coming up because there's so much good stuff in there this time of year and i don't know about you but i struggle buying for men like i never know what to buy for men i do like to pick up a few things from now until christmas as we go along and yeah also on the subject of TK Maxx, they do, in my opinion, the best diaries and I cannot live without my diary but I'm a very aesthetic person as well so it has to look good. I like a nice diary because I like to leave it out on the side and in the house and it has to go with all the decor and the furniture and things like that. Don't know why I'm like that, probably not going to change, I'm just like that. But um, yeah, I picked up this one and as you all know I've got a real love of leather and it's got this gorgeous waistband detail with this belt buckle and it's just gorgeous isn't it so it's brown oh and it's a brown leather diary and it's 2023 to 2024 i think it went from august this year so i've started using it all the way through to next december all the way through through to the end of 2024 so this is my diary until then and I just love it I also think it's a great gift idea to gift people diaries because I just love receiving like stationery I just love it anyway they're really affordable aren't they in TK Maxx and Home Sense and um, it was only $5.99 and they do all sorts of different colors and covers and yeah but this one this leather one is right up my street and I absolutely love it it looks good in my handbag it looks good next to my computer it looks good on the island and I live my life by this little thing basically this is my boss <laughs> we seem to be featuring TK Maxx and Home Sense heavily in this video it wasn't intentional we have got other things haven't we as well anyway we picked up I picked up even an aged leather candle it's in this really dark brown it's coming up black on camera it's actually a really really dark brown is it a dark brown oh actually it's navy blue I thought it was like a dark brown yeah it's definitely navy blue <laughs> but that doesn't matter it's got a really gorgeous brown and gold label on the front and it says aged leather and it smells incredible like a few years ago i don't know if you all might remember me saying but i just love the smell of leather goods and if they put it in a candle i would buy it lo and behold i started to see them everywhere after that and i picked this one up from um TK Maxx and it was $8.99 still got the tag on the back I have started burning this it's actually on my husband's bedside table currently <laughs>
Okay, next we have a few furniture pieces to show you. So I obviously can't pick them up and show you them because they're in situ around the house. But starting off with this behind me. So this is an electric stove fireplace. It's a plug-in electric fire. You buy the pipe separately and it just looks so realistic. Pumps out heat and it just gives that stove fire look without all the mess and the expense of installing a log wood burner. We didn't want to take on the expense of installing real log burners. However, if this was our forever home, we would probably do that. I would love to have a real log burner. If it's your forever home and you can afford it and you don't mind the mess and the maintenance, then go for it. So basically we knocked out all the fireplaces and we've installed electric fires just to give the aesthetic and the look to show people what it can look like if they wanted to install a log burner for their forever home if they buy the house basically so we've done that in here we've also done it in the family room as well i totally recommend these log burners electric ones and i'll link them down below next up is this mantle so these are bespoke farmhouse mantles and it's just like a really super heavy beam and it's been carved hand carved and stained and finished in whatever color you like like i said they do loads of colors this is from charlie oak i will link these down below as well and in the family room we decided to have one of these more simpler farmhouse mantles over the fireplace in here and yeah i just think it looks absolutely stunning but i will be probably faffing around more styling up these fireplaces as we go along in the renovation but i just wanted to show you this they're so worth the money we got one of these from the same place in the last house as well they're such good quality and yeah they just give the aesthetic that i love Sticking to the subject of mantles, we needed another mantle for the kitchen. So we basically knocked through a massive fireplace in the kitchen. Our house is 130 years old, so it was really exciting to uncover the fireplaces that had all been bricked up. It was such a shame. Anyway, the one in the kitchen was massive. It was like five foot three. I could fit inside it, walk inside it. So what we did was, when we found it, we decided we've got to keep this fireplace. We can't knock this wall down. So we put a range cooker in there and that's our cooking station now. As you can see, we needed a mantle over the top. So I chose this one. It's absolutely beautiful. It's been handmade, again, bespoke. And I'll leave this link down below. It's from an Etsy seller and I just think it's absolutely stunningly made. As you can see, it's raw wood at the moment. Me and hubby, we're not sure what we want to do with it. We're not sure whether to paint it in with the wall as part of the wall or whether to give it a nice oak finish. We will go through all that on the renovation blog. So make sure you're following along on there. I just could not do this video without mentioning this. It's absolutely stunning. It only arrived yesterday and went up last night. So it's fresh up on the wall and I just love it it looks fabulous so another piece of furniture or two pieces of furniture should we say that i absolutely love in the house is my bedside tables so i got two of these bedside tables from dunelm and i must admit on the website they look a lot lighter the wood looks a lot lighter and then they arrived and they were a little bit darker. So I'm gonna show you what they look like in real life in situ so you can see. I really loved them still nonetheless. So I thought I'd mention that, but yeah, I really love them. As you can see from the image on the website, they come with black, just round, simple black knobs. It took me so long to choose bedside tables. I just couldn't choose any that I liked that went with the style of the house and my current aesthetic. So anyway, I found these and I thought, maybe we don't use the, the knobs that these come with and we buy some vintage, like, vintage hardware from somewhere else, Etsy or Amazon or whatever, and we put our own, like, handles on these drawers. Anyway, I found these off of Amazon, gorgeous little vintage pulls. They actually came in a pack of three, 
uh, six, nine. So it was really handy because we actually needed six. And I don't know why, but that just really pleases my soul when that happens. So it came as a pack of six, the knobs, and we obviously needed six because these drawers are a three drawer. We popped them on instead and I just love the way they look. I just love them. So they're not solid wood or oak they're just an oak effect so just to let you know that it does say that on the website but i'll link them down below but they're a really affordable way to get the look and that's everything for this video you guys we've come to the end and i hope you enjoyed it i hope you got some inspo like i said i'll leave a list of everything linked in the description box down below so it's super easy for you guys if you're interested in any of these items i actually love filming these videos like I save everything I've bought and then until I've got enough and then I'll do an interior haul. So there will be another one coming because we're always getting packages and parcels. There's always something arriving because we're getting to the good bit now where we're starting to like style up the house and it's just like my favourite thing in the whole wide world. So yeah, make sure you're subscribed and give me a thumbs up on this video. It really helps my channel out the most. I will meet you in the comments section as usual. I love chatting with you guys down there and take care. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.